What's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome to Valheim. This is a survival-esque game that has been really taken the internet by storm recently. Let's do a new character. I have a, a, a character for my friends. Let's go ahead and do... We'll just do long. This is this is like a Viking game, so I feel like something like this would do. I'm not going to do too, anything too crazy with it. We're going to call it YouTube. And we're going to keep it moving, I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and done it. Long ago, the Allfather Odin, knight of the worlds, he threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, then split the bows that held their pairs into the world tea or tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries, this world slumbered uneasily, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fled on the side of the gods. When Odin heard his enemies, were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scatter the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors, dead to the world, they would be born again in Valheim. All right, we are actually gonna get um, dropped off by this weird bird creature thing here. So we are here now. Oh man, we already have people here that's trying to kill us? Great. Who's this? Hail Warrior. I'm Hugin, sent here to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the Forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. Nice. Um, I kind of want to get some stuff here, actually. I want to go this way. Bird there. Grab some of these berries. I won't try to get away from that guy, because we don't have a, a weapon yet, and... I just don't feel like dealing with anything and dying right away. Go ahead and eat this, get our health up a little bit. Right. Gosh dang it, of course. Alright. We're gonna just freaking may without this thing to death. Get off me. Mm-hmm. Put you down on these freaking streets, son. Get back up here. Go get these hands. Come on. Ah, perfect. Another one? Alright. Watch your stamina here. That's our biggest thing at the moment. If you want this work, come over here and grab it. Ooh, that was a good hit. That little ding noise is like a critical. What you got for me, guy? You have fun on snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Beware that before long you will grow. You will grow hungry again. So try to always have at least a couple of different meals ready. Perfect. Let's grab this beach tree here. Grab some wood. Just like so. Come on. One more. Ah, come on. So close. There we go. Much wood we have. Uh, what you got for me again? Most items will be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shape of objects. Just be pick things up, and it will all come back to you. I'm sure. My lesser brother Munin or Moonin tells me once can one can fashion a stone axe and uh. Are out of wood and stone. I can't read. Literally, dead eyes cannot read today. I can never read. You're a person that's been watching my videos a long time. I just reading. I can do it, but sometimes these medical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin as a signpost pointing toward the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ikthyr or Ixir. Your first prey. He is a money beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before even attempting to defeat him. Yeah, so if you don't know this game, this is a this is a boss. There is five main bosses in this game, and that's like the goal for right now. It's just to literally go around and beat the bosses. So we always have something to work towards, which is really, 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 really nice. Um and yeah, man, like I'm just I'm just super excited. Give me one more piece of wood. And can I get wood for this bush? can. Nice. Go ahead and grab a stone axe. Okay, perfect. We're gonna move this axe over to the one slot, because I don't want this torch in my way here. I said, hey, bring bring that back out. What are you doing? Go ahead and grab this. It says there's a, actually like a passive skill system in this game, which I really enjoy. I love that. I don't like, like I do enjoy putting skill points in, but I like it more that it just kind of happens passively as you just do it. Don't run in the water. Don't run in the water. Hey, 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 What did I say, dude? Ow. Hey, don't run into me, please. Thank you. Yeah. 
There we go. I'll get this. I have an axe now. There we go. This is probably gonna be like an ongoing series. I'm probably honestly just gonna do light editing like I usually do. I like to keep most of the footage in. I feel like it's very important that people see what I do and what I'm talking about, etc. Especially for these types of games where it's like, how did you get this house? Why did we watch you build it? Or like, how did you get this piece of equipment? How did you get it? Like, it's very important that you see the majority of it. Maybe the farming, not so much. Um, I wonder if I can actually swim behind this. And move this up. If I can move it up and then... There we go. Perfect. Anyway, like I said... Oh, come on. Here we go. Um, if I can keep everything in, I'm probably going to. We'll probably have this be like an ongoing series. As things progress, they add more stuff to the game. But this game actually has a lot. I'm so excited for you guys to see this game if you haven't already, so... We're really just gonna run through here and grab a bunch of equipment, uh, materials, wood, stones, etc. And yeah, we need more stones. Uh, is that one right there? No? Okay, we need to get some stone. Can I get it from this? I cannot. Now, like I said before, I have played this game with my friends, but I kind of joined it a little bit late, so I don't really know the majority of stuff. So, we're just gonna do this stuff together and kind of go from there. We gotta get some food here soon as well. Why haven't I found stones? Is stones, like, down this way? There's one. Another one. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're next to, like, the, the shore. Or beach, whatever you want to call it. Oh! There we go. I remember that's flint. Are there scraps? Can I get some meat from that? I didn't get meat from that? That's crazy. Perfect. There's boar all around here, which is nice. We got some deer, some birds over there. Okay, let's go ahead and eat again. We need to really stock up on food this episode. So like I said, we'll probably just start doing the basics this episode. Getting equipment, um, and materials, getting food, maybe get to like a small shelter to get us started, and then we can always add on later. Go ahead and check the back of these because I want to make sure that we can't grab any more food. Um, don't look like there's any more. Now, obviously, the more we go out, we're gonna find more stuff, but I want to kind of stick to this stuff over here as I can. I can make a hammer now, which is nice. Sweet. And looks like there's a small little shack here. What's up? The so you will raise money, halls, and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This is in turn will enable you to construct other things. You got it, sir. This guy in my freaking face. Got a boom. I want to make a club. That. Let's move this over here. We're going to use that when it gets dark. I want to move this over. This is main club we'll be using and we have an axe anything inside these what's the door at i don't think there's anything in here just unfortunate i really wish they would put more stuff to explore in this game i know we're in the access yet so uh i can't be like yo what the hell but i'm looking forward to updates for the world because more more animals, more things to explore, better caves. Like, all that stuff could really do this game good, to be honest. And I'm just stoked for what they do with this game. Because right now, their foundation is incredible. This early access is probably one of the best early access games I've played in a long time. It honestly feels like an actual full game. Deadass. I'm stoked to see how they move forward and see where they go with it. Because they could do so much with it. More bosses, more enemy types, more crafting items. Like, dude, there's just so much. They could, they could just keep building and keep building and keep building. But again, this game actually has a lot already, so... Stoked. 
My- oh my god, my thing broke, didn't it? Come over here. Go ahead and throw down a workbench. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try to stay next to this area here. Um... And then we'll probably venture out and make a house and stuff, but for right now... I really, really want to just kinda... Why can't I put this here? Huh? What? Is it like a no build zone within this area? Is that what this is? I think so. This is fine. I can always move stuff as we move along too. We'll just put it up here. That's fine, that's okay. Alright! Go ahead and do this, talk to this dude. The workbench allows you to co craft complex items, as well as giving you access to lots more building pieces to construct with the hammer. Perfect. We got stairs, wooden doors. Stuff to make a hut, pretty much. Just heard something. Station is too exposed. Okay. Oh, that's right, you have to have a little... Okay. Go ahead and throw... We're gonna move all this stuff, um, later on. I mean, I should have put that here. Next to that rock, that was a stupid idea. I wonder if I can just put like a... Kind of like a janky... ...thing over top of this and just see if it worked. Okay, let's see if that works. Too exposed. Alright, well I guess you want walls all the way around, you freaking needy bitch. Uh, we're actually gonna take this stuff, uh, from over there, that little, little hut I was trying to make. I found this over here, so we're gonna try to use this as our little main hut for right now. It's already got shelter. It looks like there's already a bed inside in a chest. Nice. Is there a door? Oh, <gasps> there is a door already. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna be using this. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and throw it in the workbench. We're gonna use this right there. Um, and we're going to actually throw on some new... ...of these. I wanna put it right here if I can. But let me. Nice, there we go, there we go. I think this is actually what it's there for. There. 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 And I think there's a middle piece. Bada bing. Nice. Got some nice bushes up here as well. So this will be our uh, little half ass hut. This will work for right now. Go ahead and repair our stuff here. Alright, so now we got shelter. And they actually gave us a bed, which is nice. Which I don't think... Why, why, why am I getting poisoned? <gasps> There's a beehive in here! I didn't see that. Can I, can I destroy that? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. Can I destroy it? Okay, okay, okay. Let's relax. Go ahead and eat that. Better get our health back up here. Hmm. How am I supposed to- Can I like, destroy the beehive? I don't know. The beehive can wait. We're gonna throw down a... I need a campfire. I need stones. Go ahead and grab some stones before it gets too dark where we can't see anything. Do do do. Not seeing any. Flint. Freaking wet now. Phenomenal. This is fantastic. I'm really just trying to freaking survive and thrive out here, and the world's just like, no. Listen, I get what you're trying to do. Just don't. Okay. There's flint everywhere around this area. So, uh, I think there's like. There's different biomes in this game, obviously, and I think there's like five right now. And how many woods? How many wood do I need? I need five more or four more stone probably, something like that. 
Anyway, each biome has something different. So really kind of we're running through the meadows biome. I need to move my webcam because you guys cannot see the map, but it tells you in the top right hand corner what uh, biome you're in. So let's do this here. Let's do this. We'll grab this. Uh, let's see here. Can I throw down... Why not have fucking stones? I only have three? Did I not pick the rest of them up? But maybe I didn't have that many. Maybe it was just Flint that was picking up like an idiot. Give me some food. There we go. Raw meat. Stone. Stone. That should be... That should be five. For this Flint. Kind of a mess out here while, while we get our first bearings here because... Um, we just gotta try to get everything as fast as we can. I'm a fucking mess as well. Okay, so... Can I destroy... These? Alright. Go ahead and sleep. Sleep not away in your bed and awaken feeling refreshed and full of energy. Another improvement is your home, or to your home, would be some chests where you can store items. It is a good practice to always have some spare equipment if something unfortunate should happen to you while you're exploring. Beds need, needs a nearby fire. Are you joking me right now? If I put this out here, put it right there. That'll work. Go ahead and sleep. So the way that this game works is it's kind of a hardcore survival. It's not too hardcore. It's more like a softcore, if you will. The hardcore meaning like, like the the fire brings out smoke, and so if you put it in, in your house, your house can fill with smoke, and then you can like suffocate and shit. So, like it's, it's a thing. It's a kind of a cool feature. Uh, when the temperature drops at night, or if you are wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina regeneration. Seeking shelter by any an open flame is your best option when this happens. You got it, sir. I appreciate you, boss. Okay, we gotta try to get this bee out of here. How do I get rid of that bee? Go ahead and eat again. I wanna actually... Uh, let me see here. I wanna see if maybe we can put one of these over the fire. Do like that. And we'll cook these two items. And we gotta be very careful here, too, so... When we cook these, and we overcook them, they become charcoal. So we gotta be very careful when we hear that sound. It's done. And you'll hear it. Any second now. There it is. One more. Bada bing. Those things are done. I have one more, actually. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and eat one of these. This right here in the bottom left-hand corner will bring our health up. And so we're gonna use that because we might get poisoned. So is what we're gonna do. Go into here, pair this, jump on this. I think I'm just hitting the stuff around it. I don't think I'm actually getting rid of the thing. Yeah, I think I'm just getting rid of the stuff. I don't think I can get rid of it, is my problem. And I can't, like, I can't hit E on it, can I? Yeah, I don't think so. We just gotta be very careful when we go to our house, I guess. We're, 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 uh, we're living with bees. Alright, so I don't want to ruin our house. So that's the issue right at the moment. I wonder if we can make a bow. What do we need for a bow? We need leather scrap. Okay, let's go ahead and go out and try to grab some more boars and deer, etc. Because we're gonna start hunting anyway, so I feel like that's probably a good idea for right now. I think I found some boar over this general vicinity. Let's go ahead and try to grab these dudes. And it's super foggy today. Oh, uh, where are they? I can't- it's hard to see them. Usually you can kind of see them from a distance, but... I'm not quite seeing any of them. I found some boars over this way. Also found some barrier barriers berries. There's two there. Let's go ahead and grab your scraps and your meat. 
we just get enough to where we can get so enough to make a bow, I'll be happy. So I can probably do the majority of the farming and stuff later. Um, off camera. Because this game is going to be kind of grindy. Just fine. So we got some necks down here, it looks like. Look at these little weird lizard things that kind of live by the water. They give good food as well, so we'll grab these guys while we're out and about. Nice. Grab all this stuff. Should've got three tails there. I only got one. Excuse me. I don't know why I only got one neck there, or one neck tail. That's weird. That's suspicious. Got this, here we go. Ouch. Neck tail. Okay. That's how we got him. Kind of odd that we didn't get him the last two, but it is what it is. They kind of they they frequently spawn, so it's not like too worried about them. Mirror Grayling. A little shack up this way, actually. Of all your stuff as well. Everything in this game has a purpose. So if you do enjoy this, or if you do end up getting this game, um, don't get rid of anything. Because you're gonna need it. There's a door. Really? You're really gonna do it to me like that? Go from the side here. The freaking rock in the way. Go. We'll grab this. Amber coins. And some of those. Nice. I wonder. Hold on. I got some wood from that. Just nice. Alright, uh, we still need more of these. I think we need, what, eight? I'm pretty sure. Some more neck. We need boar. That's like our main objective right now is boar. These rocks, man. They make it look like there's boar. Deer over that way. We need to get a bow anyway for those. These gray lens are annoying. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. we right here. Get our stamina back up. Go ahead and eat. That. I don't have any more of these cooked. We got one right here. This guy should be pretty easy as well. Got some meat from that guy as well, thank god. Stone. Dude, we can't get a pickaxe until we beat the first boss, I do know that. Like I said, like, there's, there's some stuff I know, but there's also a lot of stuff I don't know. So if you're like, how do you know this, but don't know that? Like, you, you would think you would know this before that, it's like... I kinda got in here a little bit late. And, uh... Yeah, I kinda got some stuff told to me, I didn't actually experience it for myself, which is usually how I learn. I'm a... I'm a experience it guy. I need to know how I do that to learn it. Put it in my brain. Put this guy here. Should be another one somewhere. Usually they're everywhere. You see one, you usually can find three or four. They're probably out in the water. I do like to swim. Let me get this flint stuff so we can make a flint axe. Have all this extra flint. Two out here. Definitely wet. Come on. The bird. God, I wish I had a bow right now. We need to get that for some for, for some arrows. Okay, let's come back here. Dandelions, we'll keep those there for later. Pretty sure you can use that for something, I can't remember. Deer. Here we go, here we go. Oh, here we go. Three or four of them, looks like, over here. Which we have seven, so this should actually do it. Hey. Okay. Nice. 
God, I really want to get this deer out of out of here as well, but as soon as you get relatively close, they kind of they kind of do what that what, what that one just did, which is run away. They don't want to deal with it. All right. I think we should have enough for some a bow. So I think we're gonna go ahead and make one. I don't think that rock was here before, was it? Okay, let's go ahead and not get too close to this beehive. I wish I could just take it down with my with my stuff, but I can't. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry. Uh, let's see here. I want to get a bow. Let's just make that. Let's make 20 arrows. Out of bing. And let's see if we can get rid of this bad boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice! Okay, so we gotta get rid of all that. I wonder if that doesn't go away. I wonder. Oh, I didn't. Oh my god. I got coal. I didn't. I forgot. I put one on there. That's okay. We didn't anyway. So, will these bees just kind of go away? It looks like they will. Nice. Okay, so now we can get our this thing out. And we can start rebuilding this little house we got here. Doesn't need to be perfect by any means. Um, I just want to fix it up a little bit here. Wait a second. I think I can fix this. And it doesn't actually use any of the stuff that was in our inventory. So we can actually fix all of this stuff up here. So that way it's full health. And we don't got to worry about nothing. Because stuff can rot in this game. Which is a thing, so... Alright. Make sure these... Make sure everything is just good to go. Just like so. Alright, we have a nice little bed here. Okay. That. That. Should be a way to make it... Come on. Give it to me. That'll work. Doesn't look the right, but it's okay. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's bring this out again. Let's just make sure all of this is fixed. And you can tell by that with this little marker. Little, uh... Little bar here. Nice. I think we got it. That one needs it. And I'm sure that one needs it as well. All right, it'll do. It will do for sure. It ain't nothing too pretty, but it'll work. God damn it! I just wasted my freaking meat. I get too too caught up in stuff. All right, when I sit here, I want to make some food because I am hungry. Here we go. I actually sit here and wait for them to get done, so we're not getting charcoal. We got a beehive, which is or a, a queen bee. Sorry, we can actually make a. A beehive, which is fantastic. We can make some honey. All right. Let me see here. Let's go ahead and eat. Get some berries. Let's kind of put this stuff away here. We got some neck tail, which we'll go ahead and throw down. I cannot forget about that. Let's go ahead and make sure everything is good to go. We got a hoe. We can make a better axe. Let's go ahead and do that. I didn't hear that sound yet, so we're still good for the food. Um, there it goes. I'm not sure how much time you actually have before this is done, but before it turns to charcoal, I'm sure it's not too long. Okay, so we're the hammer out. I want to see what you need. We just need wood. Okay, we can actually do that. The question is, can we go ahead and get birch and stuff now? We can. Or beech, sorry. So I think of the way this game works is... If you're looking at this tree, it will fall the opposite way you're looking. It doesn't, like, come back on you or anything like that, which makes sense. I lie, maybe it does. Go ahead and stop this bad boy. Go ahead and do this. No, 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 no. 
I'll t I'll eat those. I don't want this to, to ruin our house. I'm not sure if it can, but I don't want to find out. Could you imagine? Boom. This. Of this extra wood here. That. There's a stump out here as well. It's like Minecraft. I don't want stumps hanging around. Or treetops. If you, if, you, if you play Minecraft, you know what I'm talking about. But make sure these are out of the way. Alright. Let's go ahead and make a beehive. So that's done. Hmm. Actually, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this. Oh my gosh, should I even make a beehive right now? Uh, we'll do it. We'll put it right there. And we'll put this thing on top. Perfect. The bees are happy. Sweet. So we got bees. Nice little hut. Some food going. Um, go ahead and sleep in the bed. Let's go ahead and rest. Hope you guys are doing phenomenal over there on your side. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do the YouTube stuff. You guys know the drill by now. Let's throw some food on for the morning. We're on day three already, which is kind of crazy. Um, let's go ahead and throw some stuff in the chest. Actually, we're going to make some more chests. We'll probably just go ahead and use this as our main hut for a little bit, actually. We'll put... We'll put three. Like that. Uh, come on. I have one cookable thing, so... We'll do this. We have some honey. I guess we could probably go and eat, but... Put this... Put that in here. We'll just kind of throw everything we have, because right now we just kind of have a lot of stuff. Gosh dang it, wrong... there. We'll put that over here. I don't think the bees will attack us, no. Uh, we have some amber. We can sell that. I'm pretty sure there is, um... How, what would you call that? I'm pretty sure there's... Wait, these are different arrows? A flint head. Uh, we'll put that in here. Anyway, like I said, um... I think there's a merchant in this game. I'm pretty sure. From what I, like, seen, read, whatever. So... Yeah. Okay, we need wood. We still need wood? Do we put all the wood away? We didn't. We just don't have any. God, man, wood is in this, in this game. It's crazy. We need wood for everything. Put this here.
All right, we got this piece of wood here. We should have another log over here if I just took down. It was a big one. Where did the other one go? Excuse me? This is definitely not it, but... I just took it on a big tree, so I don't know why. Maybe it only gave us one? Whatever. That's okay. Right now, I'm just trying to gathering resources. Just so we have them. Like, this is gonna be like the majority of the stuff I do offline. Get wood. Get stone, flint, things like that. And then as we progress to each area of the game, it's gonna get even more and more crazy. So there might be days where I just don't upload this game because... I'm grinding away the materials to get it going, so I can actually make an episode, you know? But I'll just record for an hour, fill it up whatever I, uh, what I see fit. I try to, like, get a good balance between stuff that you need to see, so you actually see what's going on and how I progress, but also making it to where it's, like, worth watching and, and kind of somewhat entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Like, this right here... You don't really need me to- you don't need to see me just go down and cut trees fucking for 40 minutes, like... It's kind of a- it's kind of pointless. So... Just where I'm at, with big longer games like this. Okay. You got a bow. So what I say we do... We push forward here... Actually, wait. There was... There was birds this way, wasn't there? Pretty sure there was. We just continue up that way. Should be good. Well, actually, before we do that, though, I want to make some torches. Go ahead and throw that one right there. Can we put one inside? We can. Nice. That one right here. And there. Just so it's lit. You see how there's smoke there? I'm hoping... So it looks like this one's not gonna work. Go ahead and just bring this one out. What to get rid of this one? Thank God there's no fire in this game, because this entire thing will be caught on fire. I think we're good. I think it's gonna kind of glitch the sides here. It'll be all right. What are we doing on fuel on this? Let's go ahead and make that one go. I don't think I have any more food, do I? No. What I say we do is we eat, like so, and then we come over here and look for some more stuff that we can take down. Here's something. Now, bows in this game are a little bit tricky because it's definitely got, like, some drop to it. You gotta be careful. More piece of food down there. They do give us some more feet, more food. And deer hide and some deer trophies. I find specimen, but you'll need to kill more than deer to enter Valhalla. I'm just excited to see where they go with this game, man. This game is incredible. It really, really is. I've been looking to actually bring something like this to the channel for a long time. And I just I just couldn't I just didn't I just didn't know. I didn't know any games to play that was like that I could like that I wanted to play. That, that was the thing. Like, I, there was survival games out there that I... That it just it looked good, but it just wasn't appealing to me at the time. You know? We played Grounded, which was a fantastic game. There's actually some more updates. So we can grab this deer right here. Pop. Pop. Another one somewhere. Oh, that's a grayling. Oh, now you're stupid. On. There we go. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, we've, we we did play Grounded, which was a fantastic game. If you guys haven't seen that, let's uh, that let's play. Go check it out. Uh, we really did some shit there. And yeah, I'm just this 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 is the next game that we're playing survival wise. There's a lot of necks out here. Pop, pop. We need them tails. We need that for some food here. So I don't think you actually get wet. See, I'm staying in the water now, but I'm not getting wet. I don't think you get wet until you get fully submerged, where you're actually, like, kind of, like, floating there in the water. So, and that guy dipped out. He's way over there. 
just fishing in this game. God, dude, I'm just, I'm just so excited for you guys to just be on the journey with me in this game, in this, in this series. So excited, honestly. Okay, grab that. I got so many ideas for stuff that we can build, too. The building in this game is phenomenal. It is so freaking phenomenal. Some of the best I've seen in a game in a long time. This is what um, Fallout 4 should have been, building-wise. So they gave you, like, the basics, but they didn't go all out with the, the building, which I wish they would have. So I'm excited to see where, like, Elder Scrolls 6 goes. Because, oof. Or Starfield, rather, too. Yeah, see, I missed that. I was looking straight at him. I missed that one. stupid. Let go an accident. Be good there. All of your stuff here. So I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see where I'm getting the stuff, just in case I go, hey guys, I went and grinded for leather. Or what were these called? Yeah, le le leather scraps. That way you know where they're coming from, which is the boar. Obviously, deer hide come from deer. Neck tails come from necks, etc., etc. So I'm kind of giving you the idea wh where stuff's coming from. That way, just in case I do grind stuff out, I can go, hey, I got wood and I got a bunch of necktails last night, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of where I'm at. Just run through. Got a deer coming right there. Nope, wrong button. See if we can grab this guy. That was stupid, man. You should have went to the water. That messed you up, cause uh, well, slowed you down. Hey, another deer right here. You can grab this guy running. Nope, I thought he she juked me. Oh my god, that's so far out there. How many? How many? How many? We only have six arrows. We gotta be very careful. Your necks. Give me that neck tail. Mostly just deer we got to use this uh, bow on. Go. Oh, it's too too deep. Damn it. Yeah, you can't. Um, you cannot swim down, which kind of sucks. If I can get this water here. Need something where you start jumping. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is a big one. The buck. God, is that. It's got to run his butt cheeks. That was a big one, because then we can get some uh, extra stuff here. Nice. That was a big, that was a big hunt. That came out of nowhere, too, actually. Alright. I think they came over here to get birds. Probably not gonna happen. I don't have enough arrows. I'll have to make some more arrows when we get back. Another, another one of these. Two stars. Oh, he juke me. Quit juking me! I got one arrow, I have to make a count. Can we do it? Can we effing do it? You know, and I have no more stamina. I'm just gonna keep this guy on our... Keep him on his tracks here. Nope. I suck. Ah, oh, I, really, I really want this deer dead. He might, he might, he might get away, actually. If I had more arrows, I could get him. You can't pick up arrows, unfortunately, which kind of which makes sense. Yeah, he's gone. There's no way I'm able to get him. He's uh, he's out of here. Just fair. It's okay. We'll get we'll get another one. Not really too worried about it. Make sure we get all that stuff up the ground there. Let's go ahead and check this side out here. Oh, looks like a little sh like a little uh, little area here. 
There's more bees, huh? Okay. Now we know where that, that bee is. I think what we'll do... We'll get rid of these guys. And instead of running back to get arrows, I'll just go ahead and throw down another, uh... Another one of these. And I will go ahead and just make... It needs a fucking roof. It needs a roof. That's what it needs. Duh. Uh, I forgot that you need this shit. It's an, it's kind of annoying. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't like that aspect of this game. But... It is... What it is. I'm hoping I can just... Do that. Station is too exposed. Okay, so let me just throw another one of these in the side here. Really? Okay, let's now... Let's put, uh... Let's do... that. Boom. That'll work. We need, we need wood. That I can handle. Oops. Wrong button. This wood here. I definitely want to get these bees because we can get these hives going right away. The honey is really good food, so it's a good food source. That is my objective this episode, is really trying to get food kind of down packed, and I really, really want to get um, a good shelter, which we already have. So let's go ahead, and we'll kind of look look, look around that area. Kind of loot around, etc. Hunt some stuff, it's the basic shit of a survival game. Go. One more here, and I should be good for wood. I think it was like, what, eight for arrows? And we have 30, so... We'll do two of them. Eh, we'll do three. Perfect. And we're gonna try to take out this beehive right here. Boom. We'll let these, these bees kinda get away from the queen here, and then we'll go grab that queen. And boom, now we can freaking make another one of those, which is fantastic. Fantastic. I just Mayweathered that thing into non-existence. Literally. <sighs> Look at us. Who would've thought? Who would've thought? Alright, it's kind of like... Gotta run down this coast again. A buck here. And I stuttered there. I can't. I need him to not be out there. What are you doing? What? What? Where are you going? I need him to come back to shore. He's out, dude. He is not dealing with my shit today. I would have been fine if that neck would have been there. And that guy, he ain't dealing with my stuff. Come on back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on back, my guy. You got it. It's cool. It's cool. Before he comes back, let's go ahead and grab all these necks. If, there, if there's any clothes, which I don't see any. They're kind of out there in the water. Okay, he's right there. Just be ready here. You don't want to get too close because it, it spooks them. Which makes sense. I like eating our bite. Don't mind me. I'm hoping that's... 
Did I get everything? Five pieces of meat right there we could have just got. Oh, that's annoying. I hate when they go in the water like that. Get me up here. I'm gonna swim across. Which is okay. Okay, we're good. Man, those bucks, bro. They really just... Don't mess around, do they? I feel like these birds, they know. They know when you're about to hit them because they always fly away. So are you good? That fish kind of was out of water. Damn, I wish you could like dive down and grab stuff. We didn't get any meat, which is whatever. Could always just do one of these like that. Grab that guy out of there. Bada bing. No, I thought he was gonna go left there. He sure didn't. What we got going on? Ravine? Raspberries? No, no, no. I wanna fall down on that, I'll never get out. What's this? I was Astrid, a shield maiden of the forest. I know nothing of my life before I came here, but my arm remembers the swords or the sword and my eyes see the course of the arrow. Now the raven guides me and I fight the great beast in Odin's name. Nice. Come on me, bro. Just uh getting there's one right there too, yep. Trying to grab all the stuff we can here. Oops. Plus, the more skills we get up, the better, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna go kill these deer, but I'm gonna grab these mushrooms. You can get a good stack of those, just in case we do need them. Uh, looks like... Becoming nighttime, which nighttime is scary. Resin. And we're just gonna keep running this way along the coast here. Looks like there's something out there. We'll grab that real quick and read it and see what it says before. Oh, it's that deer we we got we got earlier. Ooh, he's dead. My gosh. He'll stop running eventually, so we can always catch up to him. Shoot over this hill. Again. I don't want to... I don't want to get caught in the, in the dark here, but... It's probably going to happen. <clears throat> he, uh, he these words of Ulf, a poor settler in a strange land. You will find here good stone and wood, all you need to build a house. You will need to craft a roof to keep out the rain. Then you will need the walls to stop the roof from falling down. Finally, you must have a door, or it will be much harder to go in and out. These things Ulf has learned for himself. Now he writes them on the stone to help others pray to Odin for his soul. Soul. Okay. Let's see if we can find that thing again. Got him. There he is. Now it's dark time. Yeah, it's getting a little bit too crazy. Hey, if you're gonna hit me, don't run away like that. You started it, I'm gonna frickin' finish it. Okay, grab all of this. That was a good hit there. Okay. I think I'm gonna go back home. And we're gonna call this an episode, is what we're gonna do. A little over an hour. Made some decent progress, though, today. We really, really, really did. Not bad for our first episode, that's for sure. Alright, we are walking up on our house as we speak, which is nice. Do we have any honey? We do have to have honey. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and throw stuff in our chest here. Honey. Another bee. 
Got all kinds of stuff here. It's really freaking, really, really swell. I love that for us. <laughs> Alright guys, this is going to be episode number one of the Valheim. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe, and show your friends. Always, guys, name is Johnny. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode, man. I really enjoy this game. I hope you guys do as well, because there's so much this game, and ah, I've just been really fiending for this. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to stop playing. I'm still going to be doing episodes, but let me in the comments how you guys feel about it, and I'm just stoked. See you guys later. Bye.